Many of the energy-based therapies around the world also work with the chakras. Interestingly, this seems to be quite ancient knowledge to humanity. A chakra is a spinning vortex of energy. Each chakra transmutes universal and earth energy for the body and governs a different aspect of consciousness. I see them clairvoyantly and I energetically feel them with my hands. And we can all do this, it's just a matter of learning how to. When I feel chakras with my hands, it feels like dense heat coming off from the body. And the waves of that heat are either easy flowing and natural or um, have kinks or bumps and that's how I can tell whether they're balanced or not. It's also a lot of fun to use your mind's eye to see chakras. I feel the energies of the chakras by moving my hands through the body about one inch above and from that I can distinctly tell which of those chakras are well balanced and clean and those which need some more energy. There appears to be a correlation between the anatomy of the chakra system and the anatomy of the spinal cord in the brain. The seven main chakras are the base chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the brow third eye and the crown chakra. A chakra can get blocked or torn which can create problems. An underextended or overextended chakra affects our perception and can lead to difficulties in integrating aspects of ourselves and in dealing with issues. Eventually, energy imbalances within the chakra can lead to illness or disease. The first chakra is the base chakra, which is located at the base of your spine. It has to do with your physical body and the material world. The second chakra is the sacral chakra, located just below your navel has to do with your own desires and emotions. And the third one is the solar plexus, which is located just below the rib cage, where your physical stomach actually is. Um, this, so this chakra is connected to your mental body. It is the center of self-esteem, personal power. This is also where you can feel usually stress and anxiety, for example. The heart chakra in the center of the chest is about us connecting to our loving nature and when we're here we feel more connected to ourselves and our fellow human beings. The throat chakra is located in the center of the throat and it's all about our communication and our ability to express ourselves. The brow chakra is located in the center of the forehead and it's all about our intuition and being able to see images with our mind. The crown chakra is located at the top of the head and that's all about connecting to our wisdom and the all-knowing universal intelligence field. Energy is everything, absolutely everything. There's energy in all of our thoughts, words and actions. What we put out there determines what we get back. Energy flows continuously from our bodies to others, to plants, animals and all that exists in the universe. Energy is the life force of the entire universe, of everything that exists from the minuscule to the gigantic. If such concepts about the energy bodies and chakras are true, could we not logically explain such things as energy healing, psychic abilities, or even life after death? Could energy be the missing link between science and the spiritual and mystical? And could this knowledge open up a whole new world of possibilities for each individual and for humanity as a whole?